Hey everyone, Henry here with another video from Wireman Custom Lures. In today's video, we're going to be showcasing arguably the best collaboration that's ever been done between two lure makers. These are the Koya Niyama collabs. They're a collaboration between Eric Koyanagi of Koya Lures and John Niyama of Niyama Lures. These two lure makers, in my opinion, are by far the best lure makers right now in the world. The quality of their stuff is second to none, and their lures are highly desirable around the world. And these collaborations together, they weren't made for very long, but they uh, have become extremely, extremely desirable over the years since they stopped making them. So I'm going to take you through some of the more common sh uh, inserts and shapes that they made and also then the rarest ones as well. Um, so uh, Koya basically is the one who poured the fish heads inside of his shapes. So for example, this is the XL861 with Niyama's fish head insert. This is uh, one, of his, one of his Shibi inserts or a baby yellow fin. He's also done some other ones with skipjack tuna heads. And this is in a large poi dog. And then he's done a bunch of others as well. He's done some Mahi, they've done Mahi collabs together, which are a really popular uh, combination. Um, and then also they've got some other one-off shapes that they've done together, which are much harder to find. For example, this is one of Koya's nine inch hard heads with Niyama's Ballyhoo insert, but this isn't a normal hard head. This has actually got a slight cut face to it. So it's a one of one. And then also, I've got here a 9 inch uh, or a 9 plus bullet with Niyama's Opelu insert in it. This is not a real fish head, this is a painted one. Um, there, there are real Opelu inserts that Eric has done himself, but that this is not one of them. So, Eric and John uh, teamed up back in about, I want to say, 2015 to 2016. And they started making lures together. Eric would uh, pour all of John's fish head inserts into his lures and that's how uh, everything was done. So there's not many of these out there in the world. Unfortunately, they stopped making them back in about 2019. And so the availability of these is very minimal and as time's gone by, these have gone up drastically in price from what they used to be back in 2019, 2020, when they, these were still being sold um, through retailers. They were probably trading like a large boy dog with an Aku insert. That was probably going for about 175 to about 200, maybe 225 at the most. But nowadays, these lures are going upwards of four, five hundred, six hundred dollars, sometimes even more, depending on what uh, the lure and the insert is. So if you're looking to build your collection and you're wanting some really cool, uh, rare lures to add, you have to get a Koya Niyama collab or get multiple because there, I can say there's maybe a dozen or so of each insert and in each shape. So. Uh, with the, the large poi dog with the Aku insert, that was one of their most common uh, collaborations that they made together. But there's still probably maybe two dozen or so, maybe a little bit more out there. And they're becoming harder and harder to find in brand new condition like these ones here. So uh, the cheap, the probably the the cheapest ones that are out there would be say the medium poi dog or the 12 inch straight runner collabs or the large 861 or the medium 861. So the, uh, this hard head, which is a one-off, there are the standard hard heads out there without the cupped face. Those were probably the last batch that were ever made. These things nowadays go for about $300 a piece now in good condition. And then one of the rarest ones that I've ever seen is this, the nine plus Upello. This being so, I think there was only a so few made, maybe about five or six made, or maybe even fewer. These things can easily go for upwards of $350 and maybe more. It just depends on what people are willing to pay for it. But the uh, the 14 inch size lures, the, the large 861, 
the uh, medium poi dog and the large 614 these are going for about 400 to 475 a piece nowadays and they just continue to go up in value because they're just so hard to come by and especially in new condition um, they are signed on the bellies or on the base of the lures they are signed by uh, Niyama and Koya um, let's see if I can find one so I don't know if you can see there was a hook stopper on this but you can see Niyama's in, uh, signature right there and then you can also see Koya's uh, signature right there and also on some of them as well they actually numbered them so this Opalu here you might be able to see it it says number two right there so I don't know how many were made of this uh, medium 861 with the Opalu insert but I think there maybe was a dozen or so and I'd estimate this to be about a $400, $450 lure nowadays, and it, it'll just keep uh, going up in price. Um, so if I was to organize these in the rarest to most common to find, I would say the medium poi dog, the large poi dog, uh, probably the most common with the Aku insert, those are going to be the easiest to find. There are a lot of Mahi insert ones, like the 861 and the Large Poi Dog. You can find those as well, so probably the second most common ones available. Um, one of the more rare ones would be the uh, XL Kona Plunger. They only made a handful of these. I think there was maybe six made. And it's a really big lure with a really big insert. And these go for about $600 to $700 each nowadays. Um, but the rarest one of all time is this collaborate this collab right here. So this is a medium poi dog, and it's got an Aku insert in it. But instead of doing regular paint, it's got a uh, crushed uh, mother of pearl shell that John has basically matched to uh, all the colors of an Aku with all the belly stripes. So as you can see here, all this shell right here is all been perfectly matched up to the fins, the gills, and the belly lines, and it's finished off with a mother of pearl uh, iron at. Uh, this, there's only two of these in the world, I believe. Uh, one of them, uh, one of them that I have, and in my opinion, the value on this would probably be about thirteen to fifteen hundred dollars if it was sold. I don't know where the other one is, um, but if you can somehow find it then you know, I would definitely pick these, uh, pick that up for a collection if you're wanting to build it. But yeah, this is just some of them that I have right now. Uh, these are, most of these are, are for a customer uh, that I've just been rigging up uh, for. But if you can find any Koi and Niyama collabs, I highly recommend you get them for your collection. They're a super special lure that it's a collaboration that likely won't ever happen again, unfortunately and they just continue to go up in value and they're really beautiful lures and also they run great as well if you want to fish them. So if you have any questions, uh, feel free to leave them down in the comment section or if you want to reach out to me personally, feel, uh, DM me on Instagram at Wireman Custom Lures and then, or you can give me a call, my phone number's on Instagram as well. Um, but yeah, if you have, guys have any questions, feel free to reach out and uh, please like this video and subscribe to the channel. It really helps with everything. And if there are any other types of lures that you want me to cover or showcase, uh, feel free to let me know as well. And I can pretty much get my hands on everything. So um, I really hope you guys like this video and I hope you have a good rest of the day. Thanks.